the twilight's last gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rocket's red glare the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there oh say does that star-spangled banner yet Ladies and gentlemen, this is the Men of Grace Choir from the Grace Centers of Hope in Pontiac, Michigan. And uh, they're here today um, with uh, Pastor Kent Clark, who is the uh, pastor of the Grace Centers of Hope, uh, who is here with me today, uh, who just gave the prayer. I want to tell you a little bit about these gentlemen here who I've gotten to know, um, fantastic people who have who have uh, been graduates of the one-year program at the Grace Centers of Hope, all graduates themselves. They now give back to the Grace Centers of Hope by touring the nation, and uh, all the proceeds for their CDs and their performances go directly back to the Grace Centers of Hope. Uh, that's how much they believe in what Pastor Clark is doing in Pontiac and the Grace Centers of Hope is doing in, in Pontiac. Um, ladies and gentlemen, I, I wish that all of you would have the opportunity at some point in time to go visit the Grace Centers of Hope in Pontiac. It is a truly inspiring place uh, for the community, uh, for the state, and it's one of those thousand points of light that if every community could have one like it, this state, this world would be a very better place than it is today. I'm very proud to have them here today. Um, the Grace Centers of Hope has been around since 1942. They've changed names, they've changed locations. But since their inception, uh, they have offered a faith-based rehabilitation program to the homeless men and women under the guidance of Pastor Kent Clark. It's funded exclusively by the, by the love and support of private donations. They take not a dime of government funding. And I think that's significant. Not only do they not accept uh, public funding, but they have enough support locally, even in times like today, to get that kind of private uh, funding that would allow them to do what they do, which is incredible in the community or in the, in the Pontiac and surrounding area. They not only provide that hand up of food, shelter, and clothing to their residents, but they offer what is most important, and that is hope. It's hope out of a very dire situation not many of us can relate at times because we have jobs. Our families are cared for. But in times like this, I think all of us have seen that uh, our communities, are the people and our uh, family members, our friends, people that we know are facing dire situations. And it's groups like this that come together, that work together, that provide that network to get people back up on their feet and to provide them that hope. They offer life-changing support in breaking the cycle of poverty and abuses of all kind, drug addiction. And, you know, I went down with my staff recently, and I recommend that one day you do this. We, instead of doing a, a Christmas party, took our staff down to the Grace Centers of Hope and did a day of uh, volunteer, volunteering, and it made a big difference. It left a permanent mark on me and my staff, and I will never forget the moment uh, that moments I spent with that group there, and I, I intend to go back, but I encourage all of you to do the same. They, they deserve our highest esteem and praise. And they're here today for exactly that purpose. Uh, we are truly grateful as a state for all their kindness, their love, and generosity. And on behalf of the Senate, before uh, these men sing another song of inspiration for you, I wanted, uh, on behalf of all of us here in the Senate today, to present a special tribute to the Grace Centers of Hope 
um, for all that they do so that they understand our esteem, admiration, and pride uh, for this incredible organization. We wish them all the best going forward. We will offer them whatever support we can.